All right, guys, you ready for Reader's Workshop? Oh, of course you are. Okay, but first, I want someone to remind me, what have we been learning in Writer's Workshop this week? That's right, we've been learning how to revise our writings. And what did we learn about today? How did we learn to revise our writings today? Yep, we learned how to add descriptive detail and use our five senses to add detail to our writing and to help revise them. So today during Reader's Workshop, we're also going to do this. We're going to learn how to use our five senses while we read. Isn't that cool? So, what, what, how, how does using our five senses help us? Yeah, it helps us, you know, visualize in our head what's going on, like what, what, we're t what we can touch, what we can hear, taste, see, and smell. That's right. And it kind of reminds me of something that we do during our read-alouds. It's like when we make a mind movie, that's right. We're visualizing in our head, making connections. So, guess what? We can do this during our independent reading time during Reader's Workshop, too. Isn't that exciting? Well, I want to show you guys exactly how to do this. And we're going to do it together right now. Do you guys remember this book, The Carousel? One of my favorites. Well, since we read it last week, we are going to read it again to do our mind movie. But instead of, you know, doing a regular mind movie where we, you know, try and make connections with, you know, with our own life, I want you to try and visualize what's going on in the story. I'm not going to show you the pictures. So you got to picture, you got to visualize in your head what's going on and try using your five senses while I read. So, I'm going to have you guys all close your eyes, and I'm going to start reading the story. Everybody's eyes closed? All right. Remember, use your five senses. The time my sister and I saw the horses, it was gray sky, twilight, but warm because there had been a February thaw that day. She picked me up after brand pa band practice, excuse me, and, te and I teased her to stop at the park, even though we had things to do, homework and getting supper ready for my father. So we turned right instead and walked into the park through a ring of old oak trees. It began to drizzle, raining lightly on the swings and the slides, and I thought my sister would head for home. Instead, she took my hand in one hand and swung her suitcase in the other. What do you see? What do you feel? What's the weather like? Do you feel the cool breeze? The horses are asleep, she said in a whisper. I smiled, because that was something our mother used to say. That the carousel horses slept all winter and woke in the spring. But ours had been broken all, a long time. We heard raindrops, tick, 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 striking the metal slides. The canvas over over the carousel pavilion flapped in the wind. And then we heard a strange sound, a long whinnying noise. We hurried closer to the carousel and pulled the heavy white canvas aside. All right, everybody finish up making your mind movies in your head, using your five senses. Okay, everyone open your eyes. So what are some things that you saw in your head? What were some things that you pictured? You know, they described the weather a lot. It was drizzling, it was cold, rainy, February. You guys ever felt like, been outside in a day like that? Yeah, yeah. See, so you see, you see, like, visualizing in your head, you can make connections to your own life and what you've been through. So, turn to our chart paper here. Using our five senses to read. The first question I'm going to ask you guys is, why do we visualize when we're reading? Why do we, why do we make mind movies when we're doing read-alouds? Why is it helpful? So why do we visualize while reading? So we just talked about this. What does it help us do? Yep helps us to understand what the author is trying to tell us, 
especially when we get to books that don't have pictures in them, you're really going to need to close your eyes and try and picture what the characters are doing. So that's why I didn't show you the pictures when we read the story. That way you could really try and imagine, use your imagination, and try and think of what, what the characters could be doing in your head. Make up your own picture. And then we already talked about how when we use mind movies during our read-alouds, we're making connections. So when we visualize, we make connections. And it makes it easier to understand. See what the author is trying to tell us. Make connections. Okay? Now, you know, we've got a lot of senses. There are five. And it might be try it might be hard to, you know, keep track of all of them. So why don't we come up with some questions to ask while we're reading? So what do we ask? And let's make a list of the five senses. We've already gone over them today during writer's workshop. So everybody just, just shouts them out. Yep, we have taste. We're all telling here, got the taste buds. Smell, uh, nose, and we have what do we see? And that, whoop, that's not going to make an eye. And what else do we have? We have two more. 